Jay Drone here. Tis the season. Halloween, yeah! Um, but besides that, be whoop. I'm going to show you how to put a canopy on this. It's really simple. To do. Right, guys. So here we go. Things you need, obviously, be whoop. Um, you need the bag that comes inside of this, which this is your FPV camera. Um, that'll have B06 will work for the B03. That'll have these rubber grommets and screws. You need one and two rubber grommets and two screws. Then you also need this cord right here because it's gonna plug into what's here off of the tail that'll plug into here. So let's go, let's get started. This is really simple. We'll go ahead and get rid of this. We'll get rid of the bag and that essentially right there is all we need. There's little pins here. You can see the pin. All you have to do is just pull up on that pin. It'll come off the pin. Come over to this side, pull up off that pin and then you can just simply take this off. And then we can put this off to the side. Now what we have here is our board. That's what the Whoop camera is gonna plug into. Uh, but first thing we need to do is with these little rubber grommets that we have sitting here, one and two, we need to put them on posts, one and two. So that's what we're gonna go ahead and do right now. Just go ahead and uh, put it over the post and apply pressure. A little left to right pressure usually works, left to right. And then go ahead and snug this down. So once that's snug down, go ahead and get your second one. And we'll try to hold it like this. That way you can see, put it over top of the post. And then a little left to right pressure and snug down. And there you can see one and two grommets are on top of there. Um, the next thing that we need to do is this tail that is coming off of this. We need to connect this wire. Um, this little wire harness that will allow it to plug right into the board. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to uh, put the pins corresponding with the holes on the plug. And did I do that right? I think I did. Names up. So now that's plugged, as you can see right there. And then we are going to then plug this into here. Let's see, which way is it gonna plug? I don't know. This is a uh, two prong and that is a three prong. So I'm assuming it doesn't quite matter. It might matter, but we're just gonna plug that in there. I have it right. I think I have it right. Those pins are up, holes up. Okay, so now that's plugged in there. Um, and okay, yes. Yeah. So you want to go to the right of that. Definitely go to the right of this and leave that hole open because if you can see up top here, let me grab my screwdriver. It is marked positive and negative. So that's what you want to go ahead and tap into. Now the next thing we need to do and the last thing that we need to do, we need to screw this on. You want to make sure this connection's in the back and your camera is facing the opposite way. So that's going to go right like that. We're going to tuck the wires up and in. And once those wires are tucked in there, which is easier said than done, we're going to put this over top of here. We're going to go ahead and get our screw and set our first screw. Sorry about that. Just trying to match up the holes here. And we're gonna set our first screw. Just gonna kinda drop it in by hand, hopefully. Hopefully that'll work, maybe. Let's go. Did not work, guys. Uh, a magnetic screwdriver would be ideal. And as you can see, it's sticking. So we're just actually going to set that in there. We are going to get our holes matched up again. This is probably the hardest part of this entire thing. So if you can get plug and play down, you can do this. And then once that's in there, just go ahead and snug this down. You don't want it too tight. You want to get the other one on before you super tighten everything. And we are going to just go ahead and set this over here. Come on. Move it. Maybe I have it too tight. Might have it too tight. So what we're going to do is loosen up just a little bit until I set that other one. And actually, I think our rubber grommet came off of the other side. I think it did. And bam, it did right there. So we're going to uh, rewind here. Take this off. Put the rubber grommet back on. And I'm not going to edit this out. That way you can see... These might be problems that you encounter um, doing this. Maybe you have a rubber grommet that comes out and then it's not sitting flat at all like mine wasn't. I was wondering why it wasn't sitting super flat. And we can go ahead and set this on here. And our one screw is already in this hole, but I doubt that it's nice. Other rubber, other rubber grommet have, has come off. 
Go ahead and push that back down here. Hopefully this is the last time we play with these rubber grommets. We're gonna go ahead and set that right there. Gonna screw this down. Hopefully it's over the hole. I think it is. It did grab. We're gonna come over here. We're going to take this screw, which is off camera, which is right there. We're gonna pick it up. We're gonna hold it. We're gonna put that in there. And of course, it's being a pain in the butt, guys. I would really recommend using a magnetic screwdriver, otherwise you're gonna have all types of issues. And do your work over a clean work surface. And it's not quite there. We need to be right there, I think. I think it grabbed, I think it grabbed, it grabbed. And just like that, guys, as simple as that, we're just about done. We could go ahead and try to tuck these wires as our cap comes off underneath here. Flathead would be better to do that with, but bam's up. Now they kind of popped out the other side. And we'll just go ahead and tuck them in, tuck them in. Bam, there, that's clean, super clean. Now you got your B-Whoop, it's as simple as that. It took six minutes with a little fumbling around. Guys, if you haven't subscribed, smash the subscribe button. Got questions, comments, concerns down below, definitely get at me. This was the drone, hypothetically, the same drone that I took on my travels that I was whooping around with, that we whooped through the McDonald's arches with. Excellent drone, later.